we are going to turn Astarian into the Ascended Vampire Lord. The most powerful vampire in the D&D universe, I believe. We're going to be making a pact with the devil and sacrificing many thousands of souls so he can achieve his not quite divinity but something close to that perhaps but to do this we must first overthrow his master Kazador here in Baldur's Gate so currently we're in the lower city of Baldur's Gate we're just here next to the lower city central wall fast travel point and you've got to come up here to reach Casador's palace. So this is the fast travel point just here. And I think we have to go up the walls here to actually get on top. <laughs> exactly. Let's go upstairs. Put it on the battlements. Here we are. Now hopefully we can just walk along here until we reach his palace. Yes, palace. I can sneak in. Security shouldn't be too tight. A few charmed innocents, maybe. Oh, innocents. We like we like a few dead innocents. Go up the ladder. You are intruding in the palace of Kazador Zar. Leave now, citizen. Oh, sorry about. That. The guard's words are clear, but spoken without thought or intent. Behind her eyes, you see nothing. She must be one of the charmed thralls Astarian mentioned. Another word from you and you'll fly out of this tower. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> yes. She pauses for a moment, but keeps her mouth shut. It seems you're free to enter. Interesting how you can intimidate a thrall. And we got the key as well. All right, we're going to go up these stairs. I guess we can just enter using the key. Is there anything useful? Just a shield. And a very nice view over the gardens in the distance. And the docks down below. My goodness. This game is stunning, honestly. Okay, let's get inside. Oh, okay. It counts as trespassing when we go inside. Into the upper tower we go. Oh, okay. This looks... A oh, there's a key. Salazar Palace Servant Etiquette. Memorize these rules and do not fail to follow them. Do your job silently. Do not speak unless spoken to. The master likes it quiet. If you are not busy, find something to do and look busy. The master likes diligence. If you encounter the master, stand still. Cast your eyes down with different. The master likes to be respected. No whistling. Chamberlain do free. Sounds like a charming fellow. We shall follow the instructions. I wonder if you can disguise yourself? And it works. That could be quite fun. I don't know who I disguise myself as, though. I can't really disguise myself as a thrall, can I? Well, that's suspiciously welcoming. Yeah, unlocked itself. What the heck? Oh, yes, we've entered the back cave, boys. Who's this? Someone is there to walk with us. Go and say hello. like a good moment to talk. The master is pure. His palace must be pure. No stain, no smudge, no taint. Pure. Mr. Spot. Theatrical. I find it surprisingly similar to Queen Vlacket's aesthetic. That Maybe she's sense. a vampire. She does have a flair for the dramatic. Look at this sinister painting. Can we take this? I can't reach it, guys. I need that. Oh, well, let's head on through. Oh, perception. It looks locked with some kind of enchantment. No idea what, though. <laughs> it's worth 35 gold. It's actually quite good for using as a, a shield if you're trying to steal something and you just put it in front so they don't have vision of you anymore. Very handy item to have, a large painting. Chamberlain's office. Hello there. Anybody home? An elegant robe. I'm actually going to take this. We give it to Shadowheart and get to camp. Ha 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 Ledger. Listing a inventory of goods in the palace. The ballroom door. Apparently the dictionary has gone missing. So is this gold, it seems. What's in here? Oh, there's a lot of different colored robes that are quite fancy, actually. This looks like a secret passage, right? Like, can I walk through this? Honestly, once you understand, like, if you guys saw yesterday's episodes when we explored, um, I can't show you, the Wizard Tower of Sundries, Chamberlain's private room key, and there's a note here, you would know that, like, there's certain 
walls and shapes that Larian Studios is quite typical of being like, there's going to be a secret passage there. And now I'm just used to seeing something like that and I'll just try and walk through it and it just worked. My darling Dufay, despite all your promises that when we went to the afterlife we'd go together, you went without me. Or did you? I found your body in the empty bottle. I know you took a potion, but was it poison or something else? Here are two more identical bottles. I'm going to drink one of them and then I'll join you one way or another. I love you for eternity. Luriana. Jesus, that's kind of descriptive, man. So we can walk through here, can we? Yes, we can. Okay, yeah, there's a chest. They put a chest there, so it looks like, you know, oh, it's 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 actually just an archway, but really, secret invisible wall, which is very cool. So where's the secret door key actually access? An excerpt from the Quatara soon, a guide to... <laughs> oh, okay, so here we have uh, Larian Studios, a guide to eroticism and emotional fulfillment. Detailed diagrams accompany every page. On your journey to sensual alignment, treat each passionate encounter as a dance. Your movement should flow from one to another, like a river through mountains. For instance, it would likely be uncomfortable for you and your partner or partners move immediately from the bugbear bend into the underdark choke. Instead, after a strenuous position, gentler ones such as threading the weave or transitive plane are encouraged. I hope you're taking notes. I'll, I'll slow down if you like. It is also important that you treat your partner's care post encounter as the final step to this dance. Recipes for scented oils for exhausted muscles, tea blends for sore throats, and massage tips can all be found in the latter chapter. I'll definitely give this one to Shadowheart. Maybe she can take some notes. That might be worth a look. I don't actually know what we spotted, to be honest with you. Uh, oh, oh, there's a book. Dufay's Diary. Chamberlain of Cazador's Palace. The final page of the diary reads... I know enough of what the master has in mind with his ritual that I refuse to stand in for that missing brat Astarian. Even if Casador finds my body, the potion Bone Cloak sold me has promised to provide a convincing illusion of death. So she's still alive in that other room? Especially since I'll leave behind a lookalike potion of acid po poison. My one regret is that di Luriana. Oh no, so Luriana thought she was dead and then ended up drinking that same poison? But I simply cannot trust her with the secret of my one chance of escape. When the potion wears off, Kazador will have ascended and will have need of my services, or he will be no more. And the mastery of the palace will fall to me. So she's planning on taking over, that is crazy. I don't know if we can talk to a starian about this. Oh, she, she is. She's right here, but she's not dead. We know she's not. Let me just talk with the dead. Technically, she's not dead. Corpse too damaged. I'll pick her up. Lazelle can carry her around. I don't know if we'll break the quest by carrying around her body, but we'll see. So we got the key for this door from uh, her lover. We're going to go down here. Deep into the gutters of the palace. There's some very beautiful portraits here of vampires. That door is saturated with necrotic magic. Which one? Let's this one? Keep my distance. Okay, let's speak to Sirin. The woman's eyes are alert, verging on manic as she bustles about. Everything's got to be right for the master. Everything's got to be perfect. Okay. Better sort that out then. Why is there necrotic immaculate. energy coming from the guest room? Oh, I feel so weak. Oh dear. Victoria's dead here. Well, that hurts, but um, we can carry on down this way instead. Behold, one of Cazador's cheapest tricks. An illusionary wall. Another Behind one. Is... Prime spot for an ambush. A little cell he throw us into when displeased. Stop skulking and show yourself. You always were sharp, little one. Sharp enough to cut yourself. It's taking everything I have not to grind your rotten carcass to dust. <laughs> Don't be mad at Goaty, child. I only did my job. Only kept you in line. You tortured us. 
for days at a time. Oh, yes. And you sang so sweetly for me. None of the others screamed like you did. But you're oh, yeah. home now, and you brought me a treat, eh? <laughs> a new friend for Godi. Lay your hands on me and lose it, Bones. 15. Ah, oh, we have failed, brother. He is not oh, scared. No, no, no. no. Godi is not worried by your threats. Godi has seen so much worse than you. Oh, oh. things have changed, Godi. <laughs> we might surprise you. I doubt it, little one. Come. Let's hear you scream one last time. Oh, boy. Okay, so Astarian's first. Oh my god. Okay, he's almost dead. Cody's turn. Lysel doesn't care. Oh my god, Lysel just deleted him. He has a key to the kennel. Bazaar's family ring. Inscription's some crusty old language on it. It could actually help us open the door. There's an inscription on the ring. I know now what else forward. was in here? There's just a few coffins and beds. No traps, and a wooden please. chest. And gold. Okay, so let's go to the shot. dormitory wing. See who we find there. Hopefully, some more friends, more old friends of Astarians. Green fern. I must be busy, 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 busy. My okay, he's busy, guys. Spawn dormitory. Okay, so this is where Astarians' friends would hang. This is where the spawn were kept. When we were getting neither the cat what am i hearing all right let's go to the favored spawn room oh okay fancy room but this this room's a lot nicer leon's diary ever since master turned me and forced me to bring victoria along into the palace i've had to be his best hunter just so i could stay in here with my daughter and keep her away from the other spawn i don't like the way vital looks at her not at all when i ask the master what he plans to do with victoria casador gives me that wicked smile Next time I get on the hunt, I must talk to Fiego to finalize the deal for Victoria's escape disguise. If only there's enough time before this ritual the master talks about. I'm assuming that with this ring, we might be able to get past the door. So let's head back upstairs. Here's the door. The door to Cazador's ballroom, where he hosted his most hedonistic nights. You've never seen it closed, let alone locked before. The door is covered in intricate text. But you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small, round hollow engraved with the Sire family crest. Let's try and decipher the text on the door too, though, while we're here. 25? Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. The writing means nothing to you. You can't even recognize the script. Probably Astarian would know something about it. Press the ring into the hollow on the door. The ring slots perfectly into place. However, you get a feeling from the door as if it expects something else. A strange writing on the door glints in the candlelight. Perhaps it's significant. There's writing like this all over the palace. Some old, probably dead language of Cazador's. We were strictly forbidden from learning it. Okay, so there must be an answer somewhere in the palace that we've just walked past. Right, I'm back at the necrotic door because they mentioned that there should be a dictionary of some kind of language in that other note, so... What we'll do is enter turn-based mode, and we'll dash. Uh, I entertained our guests here until Casador appeared and took them away. But I never saw anything like this. Just doing this in turn-based mode so Astarian doesn't die. Journal, here we go. I believe a massive infusion of fresh youthful blood may overwhelm the vampirism infection and enable my body to heal. There is one potential source of blood here, Victoria, as yet pure-blooded daughter of Leon Onfiro. Oh, he said he in his diary that she was looking at his daughter weirdly. Leon was a sorcerer before he was a vampire slave. He has warned us not to prey on Victoria, but he has imbued her with a counter curse in event of attack made by her necrotic booby chap, as it were. I think Leon is bluffing. Uh, that's why she's dead. Oh, it's so interesting. Ah, there's another diary here. 
This book is a dictionary of the ancient Ozakuran language from a distant land of Karatur. Flipping through the pages, you find certain words and phrases underlined. Open, enter, beware, forbidden, sealed. Okay, well, that's probably going to be useful. I know this Ozakuran. It's the same dusty old language on the Tsar signet ring. Let's lock pick this. We need a 15. When the warrior has 50% hit points or less, they have an additional bonus action. Pretty good, man. Run, 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 run. Got rest. Okay, thank God. We survived. All right, now let's go back upstairs. And we can open the sinister door. The door is covered in intricate text. Looking closer, you recognize the writing. It's the same Kozakuran script from the dictionary you found. But now we can ask the SARS ring against the hollow and read the door inscription aloud. Makes sense. The worst that could happen. The ring slots perfectly into place and the door swings open. Ugh, ugh. Oh, hello. There's a bunch of werewolves here. And we'll go inside. You can't be here. No one in, no one out. You're new. Cazador never kept guard dogs before. The runaway spawn. You reek of the master's scent. Come with us. Come to master. Uh, excuse me. I will not be ordered around my own house by some blowing mutt. We bring you to him. We get his favor. I didn't expect werewolves to be. Oh my god, there's tons of them. Oh boy, they're all going first as well. Where is he going? Then we'll actually go back here and just hide because all the rats are running towards us. Uglush is overwhelmed right now. Okay, we're getting bitten by rats. I'm just going to run straight at the big targets here and kill them. I don't care if. Oh my god, they actually do a decent amount of damage. Let's finish off this stupid puppy. And my turn there. Oh, wait. Wilhelm's coming to get us. Oh, wait. He knows he's there. Are you serious, bro? Right, let's use cleave and just hit everyone here in front of us. I can crit all of them, apparently. Oh, my goodness. I like it. Die. Has one health. Wow. Right, let's kill Wilhelm first. See you later, mate. And the little rat's coming for Gale. Destroy. Big damage. And again. Use Divine Smite. 98% chance to hit. Wow, get wrecked. Let's do that again, but on this one. Let's use Howl of the Dead. I will use Scorching Missile on the... There we go. Oh, okay. Can't kill him. One down. Ooh, critical hit from the little mousey on... You die next. And we'll kill the mouse. And we'll kill you. Everyone is dead. Fantastic. There's a few party guests here. Sanzi, I've been invited to play at a party in Cesar's palace tonight in their ballroom. Show the chamber lady at the door this note and he'll let you in to join me. Wear your best dress. Oh dear. He didn't know, did she? But there was some kind of party which we clearly missed. It looks like quite the event though, doesn't it? Is this an invisible wall? This looks like it is, right? Stuffed boar head? Looks like there's a wall here. Oh, there is. There is. Because look, there must be a button somewhere. Let's walk over here and see. There's some sheet music. Maybe we can play the piano when it opens. Yeah, because this boar head guide is open. The great pub crawl guide. Maybe we can go on that in another episode. There's a button. It goes upstairs. Hello. Another button. Oh, what's this? This looks very abandoned. There's a rosewood casket. 1477. My 13th birthday, I was summoned to the city palace by Uncle Cazador. Old Drossel hitched the team to my best carriage and drove me to the Black Dragon Gate. 
where I was met by porters and a litter to carry me through the upper city to Cesar Palace. The Chamberlain was waiting to conduct me into the ballroom, a chamber mysterious to me as I had never been allowed to enter it before. Amantha Cesar? Dude, this was ages ago. What else is in this room? Interestingly, we can actually camp in here. There's a door. I might camp up here before we go on. In There must be something mysterious in there, right? There's a button here too, hidden behind. Sometimes the game reveals too much with the alt key. Yeah, secret passage. There's some garlic here as well and a skeleton. People were hiding in the attic from the vampires for how long? Okay, there's a ladder going up to the roofs here. We are really in the rafters right now. More bats. There's nothing up here, just a wooden chest with a pouch. Open. Silver key. So, what does that silver key do? Must be a key that goes somewhere. There's a door here. That looks like another door right there. And there's a button, yeah. So let's press that. Hello? Whoa, this is his treasure hoard? 260 gold. I thought there was a trap there. Stacks of scrolls with another note on the same time period. Blame rule 1477. I succumbed. I am a vampire and damned. I curse the name of Cesar and reject it. Now I stay in the attic by choice. I am Lady Incognita. A martyr is no more. How is the story of how she became a vampire? There's a crystal vase here and a button. There's also a key to Cazador's dungeon here. Wait, how do I get back out of here? Some more gold and some more scrolls here. Another note. Uncle Cazador made me a vampire, but I refuse to partake in the family rites. He gave me the hunger, but he could not break my will. He had blowvine prison me in the attic. I weakened. They sent up human blood and eventually I drank it. For years they stopped sending anything. I tore at the walls in frustration. Then they sent me a bound captive, Mantha Cesar. Now before we go on, we're going to go ahead and rest in the attic. So we have our companions at full health before we confront Hazardor. In fact, I think we might bring Shadowheart with us on this next mission. So Shadow Heart, that book we found. Mistra has forsaken Gale entirely. Imagine how he must be feeling. I doubt I could go on if Lady Shah turned on me. You actually mentioned the Sharons might be watching us. You want to find them? I do. The Mother Superior will have ordered them to keep watch for my return. Find one, and we discover what comes next. That makes sense. Expecting a warm reception. Difficult to say. I've strayed from my original mission, but Lady Shah has given me a new one. Time will tell if my peers recognize that. The Mother Superior has a tight grip on them. One that I intend to break. Damn, girl, she's scary. You know where we should go? Not quite. Above all else, protecting our base of operations in Baldur's Gate was the reason I had to surrender my memories to begin with. Or at least, that's what I was led to believe. We should look for someone to point me in the right direction. Otherwise, we'll have little recourse but to wander the whole city searching. I think I'd quite like to get lost with you, exploring the city. <laughs> I know what you mean. And under different circumstances, I'd like that too. But first things first, I'm afraid. A serial shadow heart. What should we be looking for? Worms Crossing is a choke point. If I wanted to intercept a new arrival, I'd find somewhere before the bridge, blend in amongst the crowds, and wait. Most people seeking entry to the city will be refugees. I'd look wherever they're gathering. Oh, okay. So go outside the city to find them. Interesting. Now let's head to bed. Oh, hello. Back in the dream world, are we? Another one of those wet dreams. They say it? that home is where a person can be their truest selves. Without guile. Without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. Why are you butt naked? The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup. Should you wish to experience it for yourself. Oh yeah, he told us about his soup. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. 
We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stillman. A story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. That's what he thinks. Led an exciting life. Why did you conceal it from me? By necessity, not design. But I'm glad you appreciate the richness of my experience. Yours has been no less exciting. But even with all your experience, it has not been easy. It's true. The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flayer. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you, your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. I like his tentacles alive. <laughs> Make it sound like it was some sort of experiment. Perhaps, at first. I did consider that you were just a problem to be solved. And not an easy one at that. But I persisted. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how reasonable you would be. You don't Reason. like to be coddled, cajoled. But you responded well to logic, to rational arguments, to cold, hard facts. You saw straight to the core of what really mattered. I'm really just bringing him along until it's convenient for us to betray him. I could have done with a little more coddling. <laughs> I didn't get that impression. And my calculations are never wrong. Really? Be about that. Jesus, what's happening? Sometimes. I felt almost like we were dancing our way towards something deeper. I'm just gonna agree. You know, this might be our last chance to explore the possibility of a deeper relationship. Is that something you want? What? The back of your mind warms with a rush of feeling. The Emperor's feeling. Heat. Care. Arousal. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. What is happening right now? What what is I didn't consent to this. This is I don't know how I feel about this. Lean in towards it. Take the tentacle in your hand. Invite it in. I'm curious, I will admit. You have piqued my interest. Ugla smash. 100% romance run. Let's go. Give me the tentacles. Hug on the tentacle. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You feel its breath merging into yours. Cold. Smelling faintly of vanilla and garlic. Its breathing quickens as you pull in close to its face. Its excitement palpable. You pause a moment as a thought occurs to you. Where is a mind flayer's mouth? A memory stirs. Diagrams in a book you read long ago. A mind flayer's mouth is underneath the tentacles. Would you mind parting those tentacles? At this point, we can only proceed. It's the tentacle and hope that it's a erogenous appendage. Based on my deep analysis of the mind flayer species, I think uh, a nice parting of the tentacles and diving deep within is the best way to approach here. What are you watching? Why are we here? Let's just go for it, guys. I can make this easier for you if you like. My other form might be more familiar for you to navigate. We'll just save the game. You'll save the game. We'll do both. We'll do both options. 
I'm, I'm just curious about this one. I prefer this form, your true form. Show me what to do. What's happening right now? There's a slight moist sound effect. Oh my. I'm mating with an alien right now. Is this what you wanted to see? Are you satisfied? This makes me very uncomfortable. I don't know why. Damn, he dug in with those nails, man. He really liked that. He grabbed that ass, man. Damn, just pull me down like that. Wow. I'm looking drained. I can see veins. Everything you ever dreamt of and more. The single greatest experience of your life. We peaked we peaked with that? Are you serious? Pleasure upon pleasure as mind and body intertwined. It was hard to tell where thoughts ended and feelings began. You can read the Emperor's expression better now that you've connected on a deeper level. You know it feels the same way. It seems the tadpole allowed you to share more than you would have liked with your companions. I said I'd protect you from the absolute, not each other. And I was distracted. It's time to get dressed. We have work to do. I'm having some major post not clarity right now, boys. You sure I can't tempt you to another round? I mean, why not? We've already lost everything, our dignity. I am tempted, but it will be quite some time before I am uh, able to do that again. And time is not on our side. He was disappointed. It was a 3 out of 10 experience for him, boys. Ah, this is so weird. Oh my god. The Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the Crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hive mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. We must stop it while we still can. I am Before still- we too become its slaves. I'm still trying to process what just happened. I'm sorry. Can we talk to our companions and ask them what they think about what happened? We've successfully saved the game, thank God. Now we can't go back. It's Swift permanently entrenched. Oh, that no one wants to comment on it? Interesting. So? Gabe. Is something burdening you? Oh, I am so unburdened right now. You have no idea. <laughs> Load our save and we can go for the other option. My other form might be more familiar for you to navigate. Please do, transform. Transforming. Ooh. This was Dream Waifu that was created previously at the character creation menu. But it was debating us because in reality, it was like, I'm actually a mind flayer. Now we have floating love scene. Interesting. Yeah, that was nowhere near as good, obviously. I prefer the other one. It was way more awkward. Oh, wake up. It's like surprise. He changed in the night. Sorry. You didn't leave me much energy to spare to maintain appearances. Ah. I like how it our companions the still come in your and just absolute disgust. Honestly, that was purely beautiful. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it as much as I did. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore with my life. This is very questionable. I'm sorry. Okay, let's uh, leave camp. That was a hell of a night, my goodness. 
Uh, let's go down here. And now we need to do some vampire killing and stuff. My goodness. All right, so we're back in Kazador's palace at the throne room. If not over. Now I've got to go into the office hall, I guess. Curse to put my hands on everything. Or the study. Hello there. Anyone home? Oh, there's a lift that goes down there. What's in this room? So this is the What's study. What's in here? Stack of books and a party planner. Master has ordained a special party, a final feast, he said. This will be the ultimate test, but I am prepared and I'm sure the guests, both invited and involuntary, will be thrilled to participate. And there's some wine and other items here with a, a lift that seems to go downstairs. You stand on a clean metal platform, a beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age, signs of things dragged onto it over the years, but it seems to be in good working order. What in the hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Cazador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. Descend to the depths of the palace. We've got his key for the dungeon, so we do know he has a dungeon. Assume that is it. For the dungeon. Azador's dungeon. Yes, he does have a dungeon. I can confirm. That looks like a trap, right? What is that thing on the floor? Whoa. The deep chasm. What in the hells? I never knew any of this was here. Me neither, Astarian. Me neither. But it looks like we can jump from here, actually, or Misty Step, down to there. Maybe there's an easier way to get there. That's the crypt gate. But I guess I can open with the key. There's also another crypt gate here. How big is this place? It's massive. Let's check the lock. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a signet ring. I oh, can put that in then. The ring slots perfectly into place and the door opens assailing you with pungent, musty air. Does that mean it hasn't been opened in a while? Multiple floors to this place. Ooh! Belly off. On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's oh, empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. Interesting. Those memories rise and unfold. Let them wash over you. This skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. Concentrate on the memory. What's Velos' first lesson? Thanks. Your attention wanders for a moment. And you miss the import of Velioth's ghostly whisper. Damn it! Velioth recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Velioth drained his friend dry. Thank you. You are distracted by an errant thought and lose the thread of Velioth's lesson. Velioth recalls when Casador rebelled against him. Casador suffered 11 years of impalement because he failed. 11 years of being impaled. Mate, hey, what kind of lesson? There are no lessons to be learned here. I'll glush to dumb. You let the shock of impalement allow your focus to waver, and Velioth's words drift away, lost in the mists of time. Velioth recalls Casador, his lessons learned, killing him in the rite of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Velioth recalls Casador boiling the flesh from his skull, and then, to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. <laughs> the skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Casador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. So this is the scroll of rituals huh. we need. Casador never spoke about his former master. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised. 
given how things ended. So this scroll has the information we need for the ritual with Astarian. The rite of a perfect slaughter, the liturgy of the dead, sacrament of the damned, and many more strange accursed rituals cover this parchment. The final entry, however, is familiar. The rite of profane ascension. O oh, piteous dead, O oh, ravenous dead, immortality is your gift, but darkness is your prison and hunger your gola. The right to profane ascension will release you. Walk in the sun, for not the hunger. Grow your power beyond anything you imagine. The pact has been made with the Lord Hellfire. Deliver unto him 7,000 souls, each bearing the infernal mark, and you shall be free of your chains. You shall know true power. Delivering the souls. Speak the words, Echi Dominus, as Aminos, Afiro in Sacrificio. That is Latin. I cannot read. This is all so grand. To think, it was just sitting here, lurking under the floor. You really think he built this dungeon just for the ritual? I don't know. It feels older than that. Who knows how old? But Casador will want a grand space for his ascension. A venue like this feels perfect. Now we just need to see what lies at the heart of this place. Indeed we do. A letter to Mel Akam. I suppose you say that you have a reason to be proud of the expansion of the vampire circle in your city. Of course, Athkalta is more homogenous than Boulder's Gate, and you face fewer challenges from other factions and law enforcement, but still, my kudos on your progress there. Enjoy your success while you can, but I'm afraid that very soon it will be surpassed by my situation in Boulder's Gate. Definitely so. I am on the verge of a long planned transformation that entirely changes the rules of the game. Too long have I been content, so merely enjoying Major City Vampire Lord when I can be so much more, and I shall. But that is all I can say about the matter at present, young Alcam. After all, we mustn't give away our surprises entirely. Hazardor Shazar. Our structure of Boulder's Gate. Nobles, politicians. If he controlled even a fraction of these, the city could be his. And no one would ever know. The Journal of Hazardor Sar, a record of movements, actions of his spawn. Starion failed to return from the hunt this night. Goddy informed he will have pliers ready when the boy shows himself again. Still missing. I ought to not be surprised. The boy has always been troublesome, but to disappear now when we are all but ready, it is unconceivable, even for him. I have dispatched the brood. They will find him, bring him home, and when they do, I will make him scream for this. It has been days since he is still missing. No amount of pain has motivated his brothers and sisters to find him, but it seems Boulder's Gate has swallowed him whole. I am searching further afield, but my reach outside the city is limited. In the meantime, the hunt continues here. Dalrea and Petrus return from today's hunt, rushing to report that they'd seen him in Wyrm's Crossing. Their tale was fanatical. They believed it to be true. The Starian, standing in the sun's light, willing and able to disobey me, inconceivable. It seems that he has become more than troublesome. He is now a liability, but he will be brought to Hill. He will come here and take his place with the others and complete his purpose. So he still solidly believes that Astarian is here to complete his ritual. I can jump over here. I don't know what's downstairs from here. I am intrigued to find out. Jump down on this one too. And down to the bottom, which we lose 10 health by doing. There's some metal cases here with a malice potion. And another one with some wine. A crypt's gate. Right, we've got the key. And we can go up here to a gloomy ascent, whatever that is. There's also a button here too. Don't know what that did. A lot of metal crates though. Scroll of Circle of Death. Nice. And more scrolls. Let's open the crypt gate. So this is the floor below the one we were at before. Do us on the very bottom. Hmm. Ooh. What's that? I don't know, but we'll dig it up. There's also a rope. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's a trap. A Peril Sun Blade. 17 damage. Undead Bane. Attack rolls with this weapon have advantage against undead. That's incredible for the attack we're about to do. We will give that weapon to Astarian. So he has the Bane of Kazador, essentially. 
I do feel like this dirt mound is bugged though, because I do have a spade. And it just won't let me open it. Simple as that. Okay, so now we've got to go up this staircase over here. Okay, where the heck did we go? Empty crates. There's a door here. Oh, this heads out into the lower city sewers. Who is Lorona? Is this the secret way they're bringing stuff into Cazador's? Ah, a friendly face at last. Are you going to the party as well? Which party is that? I get so many invitations. Everyone wants Uglash. No. I don't know if I should say. It's very exclusive. Oh, go on then, I'll tell you. It's an underground party at a place called The Palace. My date's supposed to meet me here, but there's no sign of him. Oh, he's you dead. haven't seen him, have you? Pale, skinny, extremely piercing eyes. Looks a bit like your friend here. Yeah, does he? Oh dear. I assure you, it's not. It's funny. He was ever so keen for me to come. He didn't seem the type to cancel. Ah, oh, well, what a, what a pity. Did he say what kind of party it was going to be? Perhaps he lost his appetite. Now that you mention it, he didn't eat much at dinner last night. Didn't eat anything at all. Just pushed the food around his plate. There you go. I know the mermaid's food is an acquired taste, but you'd think he'd at least have tried it. I bet he was nervous. He seemed really keen. Ooh, he was he? so enthusiastic. I don't understand why he hasn't shown up. Was there anything else unique about this date of yours that stood out to you? Now you mention it. He brought his own wine with him to the mermaid last night. Um. Strange smell it had. Kind of metallic. You know what? I might give this party a miss. Plenty more fish in the Chionthar, as they say. If you see him, don't tell him I was here. Just tell him I... Um, I wasn't ready to be in a relationship. I'm sure he'll understand. <laughs> nice. There, a missing poster for Chesser. My plan was to let a styrene. Oh, Seems there's a lever here. Enough. Wait, what does this do? Does that call a boat through the misty to all oh, my days? It does. Look at that. That probably takes us back out to Boulder's Gate, but we won't actually use this to go back in and confront Cazador. All right, so we are back in Cazador's dungeon, and I now have Shadowheart in my party. She's forward. a cleric, so she'll be able to decimate the undead i would have thought these vampires will be no match the ring slots perfectly into place and the door opens all right let's head on inside oh there's some other doors here approaching the cells you're met with hollow-eyed faces there's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect are these all the sacrifices do you know any of these prisoners i don't even know what this prison is he hid all of this from me and the others if i had to guess i'd say they're part of his ritual but where in the hell do they come from you i know you you're the one from the tavern you smiled and joked and got me drunk you... no. He so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. people he was taking Beneath to his the master. the dirt and blood, you notice that every prisoner has a rune carved into their flesh. Is this how all your lovers end up? Look at the symbols. They all have scars. So Cazador marked them too. Bound us all to his ritual. Gods. I know so many of these faces. They're my... conquests. I pursued them, seduced them, and brought 
brought them to Casador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one, so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? Answer. 170 years. You were one of my first. My father. My friends. They're gone. You took them from me. You took everything from me. Don't worry, we'll set you free. Yeah, that's not going to help the situation, is it? Stop whining. The only thing that matters is killing Gazador. He's responsible for all of this. 25. Kill him. That monster. You can't. It's not possible. Where is he now? The Grand Chamber. Just ahead. But even if you can kill him, what then? What happens to us? You're not gonna like this, but I have no intention of freeing a bunch of ravenous spawn. What do you actually want to happen? I don't know. I, I just don't want to die. Whatever you do, just do it quickly. I can't go and wait. We'll be back. You have my word. Do we, Astarian? You literally wanted to sacrifice all of the spawn. Sebastian. He did. I should have known what Casador was capable of. Ah, he's played us for such fools. Not just seven spawn to placate the devil. Seven spawn and seven thousand souls bound to them in blood. Everyone who ever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocents, idiots. <laughs> And the unlucky. It doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them all if I want to perform the ritual. <laughs> you, <laughs> you went from really guilty to suddenly I don't care. It's going to be glorious. You're almost worse than me. It's just sickening. It's seeing them again. I don't know what else. Dang, we talked to him again? Uh, well, you clearly want to say something. You're brooding about the prisoners. Stop it. Uh, you're right, I am. How could I not, after coming face to face with the ghosts of my past? Uh, actually, ghosts would have been preferable over starving vampire spawn. <sighs> but you're right. This isn't the time. Cazador is our objective. Nothing can distract me from that. I obviously want to use all these guys to free them for a star in so he can become the ascended. But it would be very interesting just to free all of the spawn and have them run rampant around Boulder's Gate. Surely that would be even more evil and chaotic? I don't know. Oh. This must be the sacrifice chamber. And beautiful it is indeed. Head downwards. In fact, can we get Shadowheart to bless us? Well, there he is. Azador. Vampire Lord. I've never actually seen him. Who stands before us? Is this truly our prodigal son? Hm? Do not slouch before me, boy. Have you no respect for yourself? Look at you. Crawling back after abandoning your family, you should be begging our forgiveness. Starin was afraid of you? You're pathetic. I will not speak to cattle. This is between me and the boy. You son of a bitch. You truly forgot my power. You 
truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me? Hmm? Oh, you are weak, my child. You are a small, pathetic little boy who never amounted to anything. <laughs> But today, you will finally do something worthwhile. You will burn, and I will ascend. Wow. Oh, damn. That was really good armor. No! Stop him! Get me out of this! Witness the birth! Of the Vampire Ascendant! Eke Dominus! Oh, he's doing the ritual right now. Fight on me if you must, but I am only growing stronger! He's 208 health. Oh my no. god! He just instant killed Gale. And Shadowheart's almost dead as well. And so am I. Maybe we should reload and cast Mage Armor on Gale and spread out our party before we encounter. Throw a potion of invisibility at my party. Now they're invisible. All right, now let's send in Astarian. Everyone else is invisible, so it's going to be interesting to see what actually happens here. This time we won't intervene. Forgiveness. You've never forgiven anything. Every mistake, every slip was punished. I strove for perfection in all things, even those as imperfect as you. A pity you amounted to so little, despite my efforts. No! No. You. And everything you've ever done to me! Say nothing. They told me you had changed. I dared not believe it. Oh, thankless child. Did I not bless you with our immortal gift? Did I not make you what you are? You son of a bitch. Starion is incapacitated until helped. We have to physically get him out of there. Oh, so they haven't attacked us because we're all still invisible. Interesting. Ah, excellent choice. Oh, wait, is he doing the ritual? Your companion has permanently left the party. I didn't know we were unpaused. We literally gave him a Starion, who's now just blood. And Kazador has now ascended. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> right, so Shadowheart has a spell called Daylight. Enchant an item to shine like the sun or summon a sphere of sunlight that dispels all darkness around it. And it works until short rest. So Wait, go, go, go. And then I, wow, it's really bright. And then I'm going to cast it on Aglash. Then I'm going to cast Bless. And then we can go ahead and stand here. Aglash can start the fight. What? Kazador's already taking damage? Oh my god. Oh, so we saved Astarian because we engaged in the fight before he could have any dialogue that helps us out massively and now he has sunlight hypersensitivity this creature takes 20 radiant damage if it starts its turn in sunlight while sunlight has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks i'm just gonna go in and sneak attack him 94 percent chance he's gonna have a weakness to this okay 32 damage isn't amazing we can flourish ah now he's off balance as well. Starion might die now. Because Starion's not affected by sunlight. And he's not successfully done the ritual. And therefore, Kazador is. That's interesting. If we can get them all grouped up for a nice AoE though, that's going to be good. I can use Sunbeam all the way through these enemies here. Let's just use it through all of these enemies. What? It hit the wall! I guess we can go ahead and try and heal a starring in 12 health and we'll probably die anyway. We can use Ice Storm or Confusion. I think Confusion's probably going to be pretty helpful. 
Kazador saved it, but most of the others didn't, which is great. Here come the other werewolves. I'm surprised that Kazador's standing in the sun. Mate, Uglash is going to be very dead when all of these enemies get to attack him. But we're going to get hit by everyone when we... Critical misses. This is good. Then we can Divine Smite him level 3. Oh my god, we crit. Dude, we've absolutely deleted him. Let's do that again. Level 3. 84% this time. We've just deleted him, guys. He's dead. He's turned into an orb of light. All right, now let's go and attack this guy. Oh my god, we crit on that as well. This is beautiful. And now I'm going to go walk into these enemies. Shatter teeth. Oh, he's trying to send us to sleep. But these guys are all confused. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, they're going to try and bite me. Use hellish rebuke. Four damage. I think they only have one health, so we can kill these bats with hellish rebuke if we need to. Can we use alchemist fire on these enemies? We can. Yay! Set them on fire. And then I'm actually going to run back here because I've got invisibility now. And we'll go into stealth mode because otherwise the starion will die. Probably next turn. So he's confused. Oh my god, he paralyzed his friend. Fantastic. Dude, I wasn't expecting Kazor to be such an easy fight. I think the fact that we used sunlight to give us advantage and then Uglash had like a 100% chance to hit him was just able to delete him really helped. Now I can use Fireball. There we go. Wow. Okay, that did some damage. All right, if I just run, she's going to get a free attack and she's frightened because of all the wolves. Why is he getting to move? Oh, I lost my turn. Why have I fallen over? Oh, I got paralyzed. Oh, no, that's not good. I wanted to use turn on dead, but now we're in trouble. Let's just kill these guys, man. This guy's paralyzed, so he's dead. It does insane damage to undead. See what Shatter Teeth does next. Probably try and put us to sleep. Oh, yeah, he's put Gale to sleep. That's... Oh, nice. How did you miss a paralyzed Shadow Heart? I'm confusion. Nice. Oh my god, this little Chatterbones guy putting everyone to sleep. Let's see if we can sneak attack him. Oh. Nice. I think that was our first level 12 encounter, and I didn't expect it to be so easy. Now, where's Kazador's body? So there's a sarcophagus That's here. Up. No, no, no healing soup for you. Wake up! Wait, there was a duplicate of him? Get your hands off me, worm! Ha! I'm not the one in the dirt. One last thrust. And I'll be free of you. I'll never have to fear you again. But if I finish the ritual you started, I'll never have to fear anyone. Ever. Poor star. You think me a fool? That I would allow anyone to usurp me, speak the words, and ascend in my place? Hm? The runes I carved into your flesh bind you and all 7,000 souls to the ritual. Complete it, and those bearing the scars will be sacrificed. You included. You are simply a means to an end. I made you to be consumed. I am so much more than what you made me. I can do this, but I need your help. Didn't you hear him? If you complete the ritual, you'll be consumed. <laughs> Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Very well. What do you need? I need your eyes, in a manner of speaking. What do you think you are doing? I'm making what you made me. It was the parasite. Link your mind to mine. Through your eyes, I can see the scars on my back and copy them onto his. You would not dare! I would. Ah, ah. And I will. You will be consumed, and all the power you've lusted after will be mine. Help me do this. Please. 
enter Astarian's mind so you can proceed with the ritual. Yes. <laughs> your minds join and your two selves become one. You can feel the knife in your hand, see the scars on his back, and taste his hunger for power. Yes. Yes. What are you doing? Don't! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! No! He wasn't gentle, boys. <laughs> you boys. <laughs> He's enjoying it. <laughs> Oh, Glash. Staff. Yeah. Wow. Echo Dominus. Has animas of arrow in sacrificio. Continue. Relish the moment. Nunc volo potestantum quam polici tus es mihi. Yes. ache in my stomach that hunger it's gone i'm free i'm finally free oh oh it feels delicious you did it i can't believe you did it and what can a vampire ascended do I think the answer to that is whatever they damn well please. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. I have a brand new world to explore. Yes. Amazing. Oh my goodness. We can get. Oh, we received the Blade of Woe. Hazardor's just being obliterated. There's not even a pash, uh, pile of ash here. Oh, he has Rhapsody. Six to nine damage. Scarlet Remnant. Gain plus one bonus to attack roll damage and spell save DC for every foe you slay, up to a max of three. Sweet Blood Blessing. Possibly inflict bleeding when hitting a creature with this weapon while hiding or invisible. And Cesar Family Ring as well. We also got the Woe, which is a staff. 7 to 14 damage. You gain plus one bonus to spell save DC and attack rolls. Arcane Vampirism. When the creature affected by your spells fail, any associated fail throws regain 1 to 4 hit points. And you unlock the spell Blight, which does 8 to 64 necrotic damage. It's also a bound weapon that is ritually bound to its wielder, so you can't knock it out of your hand, and it automatically returns if you throw it. This is it. The hopeless dream dreamt by all of my kind. I am 
the greatest vampire to ever walk this land. Yes. Even the pale knight would have knelt before me. You are magnificent. I felt so very little for so long. My edges dulled over the numb years rotting in the boudoir and kennels. Now, I can hear it at last. See it at last. How all the lowly creatures of this plane are begging to serve. How to call upon them. Scurrying footpads in their safe houses. Rats below our feet in their filthy holes. The crows in the night above! They will obey. The world will stir in fear. Appreciate this power. So many of your kind have perished for you. The spawn. It won't take long to get a new army. I'll make new ones soon. <laughs> I already hear the world whispering in sweet surrender. And I feel alive. <laughs> I am the captain now. Can we open the sarcophagus again? There's a counting house vault free key. Wonder where that actually leads let's to. Let's get going. Let's just quickly short rest. Okay, let's cross over here and we go to the left. Run down here. So there is a book here and a marble plate. Vampires before Veloth. The succession of master vampires in Boulder's Gate by Lady Incognita. So this has been going on Azador Cesar, the Avid, and Veloth was before that. Wow. This has been going on for generations. There's always been a vampire in Baldur's Gate. Scroll of Kunja Elemental and a scroll of Telekinesis. All right, let's head back upstairs now. Who are these people? Let's go and confront them. Hold there, Spawn. Spawn. Ha. I am the Vampire Ascendant. Girl. And I thought I was done with your wretched little trial. We're not done. Not even close. My Who name's Alma. My people are monster hunters. Those of us that remain, that is. Your companion attacked us in the night and stole our children. Then his master decimated what was left of the tribe. <laughs> you can't blame a spawn for the sins of his master. Any good monster hunter should know that. True. So imagine my surprise when I heard you'd fled. Heard you were a rogue spawn, free from Cazador's control. We searched half the Sword Coast for you, hoping you could help us destroy him, only <gasps> to track you right back here. And what do we find when we arrive? One blood-sucking beast replaced with another. Our children sacrificed to birth a monster. Oh, please. There's no need for such language. You wanted Cazador dead, and now he is. I even killed a few thousand spawn whilst I was at it. You should be thanking me for saving you the trouble. Yeah, we sacrificed for the greater good. There is no greater or lesser. There is only evil. And it stands before me. Look at the hate in their eyes. They won't ever stop hunting me. And they must die. We gave you a choice and you chose power. As your kind always does. But right, I still have hope for you. That you will make a better choice. Will you stand against evil? Will you help us destroy this monster? You can't be serious. I am a Oathbreaker Paladin. I stand with him. <sighs> then you are as much a monster as he. Kill them. 
Kill them all. Good luck with that. And now the sports of the kids. Ooh. I think you can hit star Indy. Missile snaring. How many crossbows did they bring? Goodness me. Oh, she's a berserker. Let's see about that. 13 damage back. Nice. Oh my god. All right, let's go and attack with a sneak attack. Her blood. Good luck getting close to us now. And now she's going ham. Oh, she's already dead. Lol. What do you have anyway? The undead bane. Camp chest key. Wait, so she has a camp? We just never met her, but I'm kind of interested where she was from. We'll run over to this enemy through the ice. Let's summon a guardian of faith over here. As a little distraction for them. Die. Very nice. Uglish can't attack the guy standing underneath him. Can't target self. I'm trying to target him though. Oh. My useless bell form. Ha, you missed. Even though he's lying on the ground. Oh wow, what is that? Oh god, 18 damage. Critical hit on Gale. Here we go. Slay this person as well. Die. That was very effective. 96% chance to hit. Thank you. Oh, that was very, very satisfying. Who better to test these new powers on? And who better to be standing by my side than you who helped me get them? Indeed. Thank you for acknowledging that. Go ahead and ascend. I'm hoping that there's not more people to try and kill us or take what is now essentially a Starian's mansion from us. I wonder what would happen if we killed the Master Vampire and then came out and could we like tell this werewolf that we commanded him now? I'm still not sure how we open this door, guys. I don't know if it's bugged or something, but I... Oh, I can see what's in it now. Interesting. But now we can head outside. I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments how we're meant to open that or if the door is bugged. And go ahead and take a nice rest to end the day. Astarian wishes to speak with us at camp now as well. <laughs> you probably expect me to turn into a sea of mist. Run wrong side up on roofs. No. And to call on legions of wolves in battle. This will all happen in due time. But for now, patience is required. I hear the whispers of the night, but I can't yet speak its language. Wait. It's going to take a while to become acquainted with my new self. All those deaths and yet you don't even know what they paid for. What's next for you? Everything lies ahead. I can see my path to a waking dream from the crimson palace i will govern day and night create a city of spawn who bow before me cast a fog over the world for my children but first we must manage the trifling matter of the brain perhaps it will listen to us perhaps it too will serve delusional delusional Maybe, though. That was my original plan. If the Chosen could subdue it, so can we. We'll rule together. I'm so lucky I crash-landed next to such an intelligent creature as you. <laughs> we make a fine team, don't we? Both Oz and Minthara once we save her. All right, now let's go to bed. This seems like an excellent spot to end today's episode. Oh my goodness, a Starian's companion storyline had such an incredible ending where he just defeats his master, which I feel like you knew that was going to be the penultimate ending, but I didn't know I'd be able to take his place. I mean, that's insane. Oh, I love it. I love that Astarian has this newfound power now and will be able to explore the full capabilities of what he has in the coming episode which i'll link down below and i will see you guys there in fact members will get early access to it so if you subscribe as a member of the channel it supports me and you get early access to the content as soon as i upload it thank you so much for watching see you in the next one